This is f***ing evil. God dang it, really? This is the choice. Oh my god. What? Lights or life support. You gotta turn one off. <laughs> Wait, me? Yep. Life support or mm. lights, Kate. Salutations. Welcome, everybody, to yet another episode of Renegades React. And, of course, be sure to uh, check out They Call Me Hat Guy. You know, this guy right here. His name's in the title <sighs> of the video. Hit, hit, click, click right now. Go, right, go, 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 go. Do what you need to do. Man, the man is uh, the man is on his on the prowl for I'm on 30k. The prowl. We're trying to hit 30k. Yeah, y'all can get it. I hope. Y'all can get it. We're lucky enough. Hey, I believe it. I believe y'all will. Thank but, you. But <laughs> yeah, this uh, this whole uh, thing has just been uh, it's been a ride over these last couple of months. Uh, <sighs> there's been huge developments, huge uh, things that have just popped up out of nowhere and it's stuff that I never expected to to come into fruition the there will be has. sunshine after the rain there yes. will the sun will rise yes things do get better it went from the strikes yep to where it is now and I'm still dealing with a strike but Mar uh, hopefully by the beginning of March that'll all be taken care of and I won't have that on there anymore and my channel will be in good graces and also uh, also you know we've had uh, a, we've had uh, developments with our film. Uh, we are currently having uh, we're working with VFX artists to make sure that the film is ready to release. Amazing stuff! By oh, the way. it's looking great. It's it's looking really good. And um, <laughs> to have an outsider's perspective, heck, and that's another thing too. Marcus, uh, the star of the thing, has yet to see some of this stuff. And but Chad's I've seen, seen it, it, and I was just like an extra. Yeah. So and Ch and uh, uh -huh. yeah, and that's the <laughs> him and him and Marcus are wrestlers and they wrestle together a lot. Yeah, he's my brother, dude. Yeah. I love that guy. But yeah. you will never hear me say that in the world of wrestling. Never. So yeah, we're we're this we're sort of behind the yeah. behind the our uh what it was it beyond the mat. Yeah, we're breaking it. kayfabe. Yeah. Kayfabe? What's that? It's like <laughs> uh, you smart marks out there, you mm -hmm. know exactly what we're talking about. But we have a video here by MK called r slash tech support gore melted. No. Uh, the amount of times I have had, uh, I've had like software or hardware just go haywire on me. Dude, you, oh, actually I remember one in particular with y'all. We were up in the, uh, we were up in the recording or the uh, practice room at Chuck's mm -hmm. and we were up there and it was snowing outside. Yes. And we were up there. We were playing. Everything was going good. Yeah. All of a sudden, uh, I, f I think it was Ramy. Ramy stepped on the uh, <clears throat> the power supply or not power supply. He stepped on the surge protector, and his shoes were wet. So anyone out there, class, uh, what happens whenever water and electricity interact? Bad. Bad. Yes. Something very, very bad. So we hear pop, 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 and then basically my amp, Ramy's amp, and the PA system all go dead. And all of a sudden we're just like, what the hell happened? Yeah. I'll, I'll, and I look over and I keep hearing like a buzzing and a popping sound. I'm like, what the heck? Oh shit. And I reach down and I unplug the power supply from the from the line we had going, coming into the room. I was like, dude. Ramy, what the hell, man? He's like, he's like, was that there the whole time? I'm like, yeah, dude. Like, you stepped on it. And you, your shoes are wet, dude. He's like, oh man, I'm sorry. And I was just like, dude, we need to get another power or another surge protector. And he's like, and there's like, and and Chuck was like, I can get one. And he went downstairs and he looked for I think it was like 20 minutes. And he came back. He's like, I ain't got one. Like, well, I guess we'll just. I we mean, mean another it, day. It, luckily, it didn't pop tubes and do all this. No, shit. thankfully, we got everything plugged up. Everything was fine. It was just the surge protector going out on us. Thank goodness, because my amp at that time, I still got the amp that I played over there. The, oh yeah, the double XL, the PV double XL. Dude, they think we're goofs now. They should have seen us then. Woo, we were, we were world class goofs. Oh my god! Like right now, I'd say we're still semi pro goofs. We're goofs. Oh yeah. But back then, oh, we were like top top twenty at least in the world of goofs. Yep, that's just what we were and what we are. Can't help ourselves. But uh, yeah, that uh, just picking that power supply up 
And then just like seeing the water dripping out, I'm like, oh, no wonder. Yeah, and why? Then, yeah, we took it outside, <laughs> threw it away. Came back the next practice with a fresh pow- or fresh uh, surge protector, and everything was good. Thankfully. Thankfully, everything was good. So, tech support gore melted. Let's uh, check out what MK has for us. And, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. My space heater stopped working. What is with the space heaters? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh god. Oh, that's not. That's not. No, even. that's. Computer gore. That's just. That's fire. That's, that's not straight good. Straight up fire. Clearing coworkers' temp files today. Two hundred and forty-six gigabytes. Oh. Yeah, that's not going in the recycling bin. That's getting immediately. No, deleted. that's immediately I don't know what deleted. This, is. this can't be video cache or something. They must have something redirected to the temp folder. Computer must have. Froze, boss. Now I know this is Photoshop. Uh. There's never been a Mac with good enough ventilation uh. to run that cold. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, except for except for like certain M1s, certain M1s power di- or like heat distribution is actually really good. My PC shut off suddenly and won't turn back on. Yeah. Um, the, the oh, 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 is that God. one of those micro PCs? I th- no, I think that's a that's, full one, dude. That's a Corsair fan, dude. How do you let it get that bad? That's a single. That's a single rad. How do you let it get that? What do you have in your house? This Ugh. Shit, it shit looks like it's mummified. It does. It belongs in a. It belongs in a museum. Breathe. And that's why tech people don't believe you when you say this, unless you've been working in tech a really long I time. I believe it. it I've seen it. But really, fairly rarely. I've I've seen it. Dude. I saw it with Brian and Marie's dude. Brian and Marie love. I, I love them, but. They had construction going on in the apartment above them, and dust kept coming down. And they had their PC over on the side where the dust was coming down. I'm like Brian, you need to move that. He's like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. <sighs> Six months go by. He never moved it. And then he told me, he's like, dude, I don't know why, but my processor just keeps heating up. I don't know why. I take the fan off, and there is literally a cake of dust that thick on their ra- on their rad. I'm like, Ugh. I think I know why. I think I found the problem there, Brian. Love you, Brian, but sheesh. God. Yeah. Hey. Plugging in your USB receiver with a hammer for that flush-mounted look. No. Oh. No. Oh. And that's a super speed one too, bro. Why? Uh, I actually probably uh, passed the statute of limitations, but I had a work laptop that had this. I use Logitech G602 mice, which have a receiver, and it was sticking out of the side. I was uh, doing a wireless survey in a construction area, and I dropped the laptop on its right side. Kind of jammed it in. It wasn't as bad as this, but still. I just left it in there, and since it was my laptop, like, nobody actually noticed. My friend drilled holes in his mouse to make it lighter so it would give him an advantage. Uh, oh, so you tried to make a knockoff. You of tried to make it perforated. Mice. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think the holes are for weight. I think they're for airflow so your hand doesn't get sweaty and slip off the mouse. And number two, mice need to be lighter or heavier depending on the player. Like yeah. The G9X came with weights to make it heavier. And honestly, as a sniper, I was a better shot with a yeah. heavier mouse. Also, please Same. just take a file to this. Just just make it a little yeah, bit smoother just, so it's not jamming your hand. a little closet. bit. Dwarf. Hospital server room. Yep. This this looks oh, done wrong. Oh, room. oh that You're looks like spaghetti. Dude. It does. Realize that Ethernet it's like, cables op, come in like optical cable spaghetti. Different lengths of cable in different quantities. Not oh. just 500. Bit. Well, I think I found the w- w- wizards uh, from uh, from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. You ever seen the, the episode with the w- wizard? Is the www dot y z dot r rd the yeah. wizard and he kept having to buffer and reload because oh it was like God. such old code and i was just and i was like like i wonder what this motherfucker eats that's what this motherfucker eats he eats optical cable spaghetti it makes sense optical pasta <clears throat> 15 footers but this will also happen in areas where downtime is really hard to get, like hospitals, because you you simply don't have time to rip out everything this, and run it all properly. Yeah. Or when you're adding something, or call can't... dude, call an ex- a third party IT guy to come up there. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the, the medical uh, companies. They don't have enough money to hire. 
extra. Their their CEOs have to make record profits every, every year. year, year over year, even though yeah. they don't fucking need it. Yeah, it's like, oh gosh, what am I? I I just bought this seven bedroom house this year, and I really want to upgrade to an eight bedroom house next mm-hmm. year. And I can't do that if I don't make more money than I did last year. And that's the only way my penis is going to get bigger. If I get more money, that's going yeah, to finally, finally more make shit it happen. That I don't fucking need for a family that I don't fucking have because I don't have time for a family because I'm a fucking useless waste of space. And I, oh yeah, I'm a good businessman, but does that mean I have a soul? No, it doesn't. Bitch. Plug anything else because you'll bring down general surgery or something like that. Ticket said camera flickers to fuzzy brown image often. Ha 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 ha. You can't tell what's in front of the camera, so it'll just look like the image went bad. I can't even. Yeah, yeah, this. this no, is no, the graphite broke. Cannon, but, uh, Xerox toner cartridges don't have a spring on the back door. Yeah, the graphite toner in, just. The door <laughs> on the back of the cartridge just opens. And if you pull it back out, or if you rotate it at all, it just dumps all the toner everywhere. Somewhat happened yep. to me. I stopped it before it got too bad, and really happened to one of my technicians. Customer came in with his iPhone. His glass cracked. He thought he could peel off the glass so he wouldn't notice the crack anymore. Yeah, uh, newsflash. Uh, wh- what do you think is under the glass? Wi-Fi in the warranty department isn't working. Spot the problem. Uh, well, two. Pro- I don't know what happened, man. Every time I heat up my spaghetti, I lose the internet. Well, I just wanted it to look like my old TV. Uh. Problems. One, you're still using 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. Something that isn't warehouse IoT. Uh, you're putting 2.4 gigahertz on top of a microwave, and you're using a $60 TP-Link Archer whatever for an enterprise application. I'm sorry you asked me to spot the problem. Would you like me to continue? But but yeah, for those unaware, uh, microwaves are right around 2.4 gigahertz. And 2.4 gigahertz they, yeah. is a the older Wi-Fi standard? There was a there was a time where you turn on the microwave and the Wi-Fi would go out. How the yeah. previous IT guy mounted the hard drive? It's 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 right it's right there. That's a 3.5 right on the Why? right. Why? That's where it goes. What is wrong with you? Okay, I might Why? be, right. might be 2.5 on the right. I, I, d- still get a conversion bracket or something. Yes. A person mistook LED polarizing film for a protective plastic film and uh, peeled it off. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. Please, initiated <laughs> Samsung batteries swell sometimes. Not sure the full scope. I haven't been keeping up with it. But yeah, they swell. That's and good. They, they don't explode, but they. Just I can see why, and, uh, and you notice it's Samsung because they can't do Samsung yeah. because. Pop and they'll leave lithium everywhere. Oh, that's and that's awesome. Fire. So it's kind of the perfect pillow print. I love this. My yes. PC is low on space. Can you help? 234 gigs of temp. How? What in the hell? Like, do you guys have your downloads redirected to temp and you're downloading gigs and gigs of God knows what? <laughs> I can also, take what they can guess what they have on, you know, under temp. Success is caching 15 gigs of updates. May God, Dear God. my soul. Oh, you sweet summer child, you ain't seen nothing. I've probably that is... cleaned out 30 or 40 of these, varying from two to five rack long, yeah. same colored spaghettis. I have been in some that are nightmarish like that, and when I was told, like, to organize the cables, I'm like, ah, um, no, I don't want to be the reason why people can't do their job or anything like that. I mean, no. I, f- I find them kind of fun. I don't know. It's satisfying once you're that done. That shit's the ugly. Cable of it my is favorite ugly. gaming mouse dragged along 300 miles of road hanging out of my car door by mistake. That's kind of cool, visually oh. speaking. Well, thankfully, that's replaceable. Thankfully, yeah. that is replaceable. I have, like, I, I, I've had to replace a USB ending before because it was for a... Uh, it was for an extension thing that the person just couldn't bear to part with. I'm like, okay, fine. And I just found a, like, old mouse that wasn't in use anymore. Just then tied it in, redid the redid the, the cable and everything. Everything was good. Everything worked perfect. But that's just horrendous. 
Uh, I'm sorry about your mouse, but maybe you will, you know, recognize wireless supremacy now. <laughs> I pick up a stack of busted iPads almost every week from one of my middle schools. Yep, that, that, that'll do it. Yeah, people no were Apple care. The 10th Apple iPad care. Not having uh, the sealed edge around the screen, basically. And also, protectors. Especially if you're in a school. Yeah. You, if you can splurge on iPads, you can splurge on some like $20, $30 protectors for each of them to make sure that you don't have to keep buying new iPads. Stop trying to raise them with the school system, dude. Ah. And they do that because they sell hundreds of thousands of these to government, schools, all that stuff, and they need to be easily repairable because of this. Because kids have no idea how to treat electronics, and neither do adults. One of my coworkers was eager Agreed. to unpack her new mouse. I'm not gonna blame your coworker for this because oh! clamshell packaging needs to die in a fire. And especially with wired devices, if they run the wire through <sighs> every of that clamshell packaging that is outside of the radius of the product, they deserve it. They should give you a new free mouse. That's just stupid. Oh, and can it you is. The speaker, uh, it sounds a bit muffled. The, uh, mm -hmm. the, oh! The sound, by the way, back to the Samsung battery thing. Apple also has ba swelling batteries. This is this is not. Yeah. Well, it's lithium ion. That's lithium ion batteries as a whole. They nine times out of ten swell, like, and it and it's just an age thing. It's just part of it. I have some old Samsungs that are fine. Yeah. I mean, from as far back as like 2012, 2013. Yeah. And thankfully, your the sales on those seem to be pretty mm -hmm. well uh, well made, whereas a lot of them weren't. Yeah. That's just how it is. Seen an iPhone with a with a bulge out the back of it like that. Basically, it started just like a little bit like Yeah. And just and all of a sudden just before you knew it, it was just like what? It just popped yeah. off. The back part popped off. Samsung. And I can't tell if this is lithium dust from the battery, or if this phone was in a construction environment, or if they really, really, really just like sugar. Yes, sugar. My mom Jeez. didn't like the yellowed color, so she decided to put nail polish on the printer, despite my objections. Oh my God, please oh. stop. But no. also, in defense of your mother, and I, I know I'm, saying, I'm the one saying this, I had that exact printer in college, and yeah, that, that yellow gold, they were going for like a gold or something. It was ugly as hell. So like, yes. this is actually an improvement, but please don't do this to your electronics. No, do not. Enjoying my new two terabyte USB 3 external hard drive. Okay. I, I just bought one of those from Santa Skin off. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Oh. They got him. Fooled you. He paid this way too little for that. From, you know, yeah. Reputable disc manufacturers. If your media isn't from SanDisk or Lexar or Sony or one of the big companies, it's it's probably a piece it, of crap. Yeah, I've never heard of the shit. company. Or if all they seem to make is one specific same-looking USB drive, it's probably fake. My fan was making too yeah. much noise. I will end you. I oh, will end, I will why? End you and I will end you. Customer states uh, she could not copy files on the $60 2 terabyte SSD from, from Amazon. Amazon. For anybody unfamiliar, that is an extremely cheap price. And yeah, it's a knockoff Kingston uh, <laughs> USB drive in almost the same case we saw before. Yeah. Price reference on sale. I just bought a 1 terabyte SanDisk SSD for my video capture device for about $109. And I the think price has gone down, thankfully. Thankfully, yes. It has gone way down was 219 so 60 bucks not not the correct price no i was wondering why my computer had blue screens now i'm wondering why my computer was able to boot up at all that's some fantastic <laughs> no oh the ram just cracked right down yeah. the middle yeah you're lucky so dim memory like that it it's like ram in particular anytime a ram stick is usually fucked it will not boot yeah but damn, dude. That's hey, a hard-working machine. There. I guess yeah. it doesn't really matter as long as it's not writing to that particular sector of the memory at that particular time. Yeah. The printer isn't working. Oh, my f God. Oh, oh my God. I do oh, oh. Ask. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Oh. Uh, somebody should probably give it some encouraging words. Professional cabling at Pepsi. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, see, when you're building this, there are... I can't even... I can barely see the server racks. Yeah. 
Jesus! That's Maybe insanity. Of it being done properly and then it getting messier over time. But again, Pepsi, one of those places where downtime is probably at a premium because downtime means you're not making soda. Client was upset her iPhone wasn't working properly. Diagnosis? Not actually an iPhone. Oh, oh. What? Oh. That's a really extensive copy. Like, I guess the yeah. first was iPhone S. What do you mean iPhone? iPhone what? S. But they, they went for the logo. They went for the design. Usually they, they try to steer clear of copyright laws, but man, they just went all out. Why is Damn. there a pillow inside my tablet? Oh, no. No. It's not a pillow. Well, no. It is a pillow. Just a pillow <laughs> of toxic fire. It didn't plug in, <laughs> so I bent the pins to make it fit. Oh, there are different types of DVI. That's, yeah, that's DVI, that's, oh yeah, that's with audio, that's DVI with audio, that's dual link DVI with analog audio, and they bent down the analog audio pins to make it go, oh, oh. Sometimes you gotta shove it in there well, to dude, get it to fit. I know, but you can find a TV, dual link DVI cable for like five dollars online. Hey, stop! I had a uh, uh, client once that routinely broke RJ45 ports, the internet port on laptops, by shoving uh, HDMI and USB cables into them. USB kind of fits. HDMI does not fit at all. No, it doesn't. It just wreck everything. My flash drive won't show up, and I've literally tried everything. Oh my god! Oh! What did I just say? What did I just say? That. See, USB kind of fits in RJ45. It's yeah. It's, it's a shove, but it'll do it. AT&T has no idea why their DSL service is so poor. It must be my wires in my house. No, I don't think so. Yeah, they just don't. They don't care. You no, know, they don't. Oh. And for those yeah, people, that is a hodgepodge of just interconnected hell. There's an oversimplification of this, but yet you won't do it because you don't want to spend time for a tech to go out there and actually do the work. You laughing in the back. There are areas of the U.S. where DSL is literally all you can get. Yes. I now live in semi-rural Pennsylvania. My relatives live in rural Pennsylvania, and the only thing you can get is DSL or satellite. And satellite's a hundred dollars a month for a five gig data cap. So yeah, DSL yeah. is unfortunately still relevant. I yes. know that R slash tech support Gora would appreciate this. Can export. <laughs> uh, on that is I like than that. Some of the other things we've seen today. Phone will not charge without pressure, so I made this. I mean, I'm actually not against this for like a few day fix. Like if you're waiting on an appointment or something to get your phone fixed, this is something I do. I'd be like, screw it, I'll just loop it around the phone and. That you had to custom make that. Look at that. Look at the welding job. Yeah, I bet they used a plasma cutter right there for that. Get insurance. Yes! Just get insurance. It's worth and, it. And like electrical tape it on the back just to get it so that I can use it for a few days. Permanent fix? No. No, 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 no. When you have a VGA card with bad RAM, a VGA card, a graphics card with a VGA port? Uh, it can cause easier valid drives. I mean, that that's a whole J. Like, that. I don't, I'm not, I'm is not valid, gonna diagnose this. I is fully dryer, dryer specky, but. Becky Bicapican. That I was gonna say you, you nah. Don't care. Enough. It's not good. It's in for HDMI replacement. Kid said I pushed the cable in a little too hard. A little. Just. You know what? I think I'm gonna buy a wrecked one. I think I'm gonna buy one that's fucked up. What a PS5. And try to fix it. Yeah, I've seen some of them online for like two hundred bucks. Oh yeah. Once so, I get an opportunity to sling like that much, I'm gonna try to do it. Okay. Or one one that I would like to find is one with the disk drive that's not working. That because honestly, I have one with a disk drive, and I like being able to like physically use disks. But mm -hmm. if you can get one for like dirt cheap, and the only thing wrong with it is the disk drive doesn't work. Okay. I'll I'll take it. Yeah. Also, the disk drive is potentially fixable. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It's that would probably be the easiest fix of the entire yeah, system. Even if it's not fixable, you mm -hmm. know, it, it like the damage is irreversible. You know, something's fucked with like the motherboard or something right. like that. Then even then, you could still download the games and yep. play them that way. Yeah. Just a little. 
just a tiny little bit. That's the really bad. That this is still That's horrible. Daily by my customer refuses to upgrade. <clears throat> do, do they do they have specific <clears throat> like industry software or something or are they what? a writer? Genuinely, these are the two classes of people I found that it's either BMS software tied to the building that costs got ungodly amounts to upgrade uh, or they're writers. I don't know why writers like really old computers. Well, it's because they're not hackable and less distractible. Yes. Like, you're not going to be able to upload or use a lot of shit that'll keep you tied to other tasks. Well, I know that um, George R. R. Martin still types on his old, like, it's, I forget what, it, what he said it was. It's like a old Microsoft one that mm -hmm. is like, the color on the screen is binary. The oh color, it's like black and, like, black and uh, green. That's what he uses to type his manuscript. I would like one of those old clamshell, um iBooks. Yeah, I remember that would those. be cool as shit. Yeah. Not keyboard. Upgrade really that a little bit. Really old computers, like an artist rendition of Anxiety. Now we're getting somewhere. No. All right, yeah, this, oh. this is pretty bad, but still, like, this just teaches you to trace cables. Like, it's bad. It's a mess. Yes, it's terrible. But like, you should still be able to find a patch in like a minute or two. Like, yeah. it shouldn't take you that long. Like, fix mm. fix it. Yes. Found yeah. The Facebook page of a computer repair service captioned "Fixing a computer." <laughs> what the. What are you doing? What are you soldering? What are you soldering, bro? Doing? Why, why are you soldering? I remember that soldering. I heard it was my first one. It's cheap as hell, but but it works. Um what what are you do why is the computer still on? Are you are you seriously like repadding a space bar or something over there? Oh my god. No, I he's... refuse to believe they're just making this up because yes. that would be even stupider to like go into an area of full of people that know what they're doing and be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And there's a Bob Finally. Marley bag over there. Did you see that? There's Bob Marley bag. I see it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe that explains what's going on. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I, I, I'm a fit. Wait, got two blitz. Why okay. you two blitz? Okay, I'm gonna fix the computer. Mm -hmm. Where's my soldering iron? He's like, what do you need a soldering iron for? It's like, I'm I, a professional. I'm, I, shh, shh, shh. It's like, honey, I've been working in computers longer than you have. It's like, then you know what the fuck I'm doing. So shh, shh. yeah go into an area of full of people that know what they're doing and be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing too. Trying to place the GPU without unplugging the PC. No, do not do that. I almost don't want to read this. I almost, okay, fine. I tried putting my new graphics card in and couldn't get the other one out. I then stopped because I began to smell smoke and actually see it. What, what, did, did you unplug your PC? N no, why would I do that? <laughs> oh yeah, why would you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm with QK Rays on this. Just holy, holy shit. shit. Hard reset. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, I work in IT. Finding this in the server room made my day. Yes, there is. There has been a hammer in my old jobs IT department for almost 20 years, and I took it with me. The when hard I left, reset. And the place is now falling apart. So maybe, maybe the the hammer had something to do with there it. There you go. Yes, it was the maybe. fixer. It's just like percussive maintenance. I've heard. Is the that makes term sense. Used. Anytime there was a particularly difficult problem, I would just get up from my desk and be like, all right, I'm going to look at it. And one of my coworkers would just lift up the hammer and be like, take the hammer. <laughs> this take is that. why you should restrict <laughs> access to the server room before firing your IT guy. Oh my God. Are you serious? Ooh. Oh, wait. Restrict access to the server room before uh, firing your IT up. So the IT guy on the way out did this. Damn. Damn. Good what did he luck. do? Did he go through a freak with a hedge trimmer and just... It looks like he took his time. It looks like it. I mean, some of them are pretty frayed off in different direct. Yeah. Oh, so you fired your IT guy and you didn't immediately escort him out of the building. Boy, what did you fire him for? Because uh, in 90% of cases, you probably deserved this. For legal reasons, this is not something I would do. For no, would reasons. not recommend. In the 10 years I've been in IT, this takes a cake. I'm trying to figure out what's... I'm genuinely trying to figure out what's going on here. It, it just it just looks like a really dirty computer. Oh, there's a second picture. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Oh, no, 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 burn that crap of fire. All oh, right. God, they didn't realize there were two pictures. Oh. <sighs> I was going to save this to the end of the video, but I've got to talk about this. So I traded a TV, which was an old TV, yeah. for an Xbox 360E. And the guy was just going to give it to uh -huh. me. Uh-huh. 
But I insisted, you know, he was in need of an extra TV for a monitor or whatever, that he take this TV off my hands. Because, number one, I needed space for it. Yeah. Number two, I'm not a crook, so it's hard for me to just allow shit like that okay, to happen. Okay, we get it. You're not Richard Nixon. So. so, I was having an issue with... This was the last... 360 that they released alongside the Xbox One. Yeah. I so remember. it looked kind of like the Xbox One and everything. And it wasn't getting Wi Fi signal. In fact, I was having to use the USB in the back with the old original arcade Xbox 360. Yeah. You know, with the ears, they had like a little yeah. Wi Fi uh, dongle thing. Yeah. I remember that thing. I shouldn't have to use that to connect to Wi Fi on the last model they no, produced. No, because it came with Wi Fi built in. Yeah. It practically was a step down from the Xbox One with the same kind of build. Yeah. I opened that thing up, dude, and it was full of cockroaches. Oh. I mean, Live or whenever dead. one alive. Oh. I opened the bottom oh. of it, okay? And that son of a bitch was looking at me like, oh, shit. Like where the hard drive is, because I was taking it all the way apart and then doing a, you know, just yeah, deep, yeah, deep, deep clean, clean of it. And then I fucking had to suit up, took that thing outside, scrapped it all apart outside, dunk like with the fucking bleach and shit, dunking all the plastic and stuff in it. And I even had it, it's like tied up in a trash bag, completely parted out, completely cleaned but to the point no air can get into it so that if anything is left in there, it suffocates. Yeah. And I've left it there. It's going to sit in that trash bag for two months or until I can spend like $15 to order the metal cage because they had puked, urinated, and crapped on the metal to the point where it rusted. Oh! So I just completely threw that away. Yeah. There And the Wi-Fi adapter that already was crusted threw that away. But everything else, I'm going to have to alcohol clean all the motherboard, all that. And I'm going to put it back together. We should ask our, our homie who works on that shit if he can, if we can do like a, a video about that. I mean, I can do it. I can okay. do that myself. Cool. Uh, cool. But, yeah, because they're pretty simple, actually. It's nothing crazy. Okay. I don't have to solder anything or anything like that. But as far oh. as like opening it up and just being disgusted... Dude, it was like dried, flaky remains of hundreds of cockroaches in that thing. Like when I opened it up, it was like crunched up leaves had just like fallen out of it everywhere. It was insane. And that thing ran like a fucking Mustang, dude. Like a like a like a brand new right off the lot Corvette or something. No fan noise. Nothing. It wasn't overheating. You'd have never thought you would have was never wrong known, with it. dude. You would have never known. The only indicator that there was a problem was that the Wi-Fi connection. There was just like nothing. That was it. Yeah. And and if you wouldn't have taken it apart to fix that, you'd have yeah. probably never known. Yeah. There would have just been one cockroach living there until it died, and then the end. Dear God. Yeah. Man. Tell me that ain't a bitch. As oh. Oh, oh, no, man, f*** that. Don't touch. <laughs> like, uh, uh, underneath the screen of a lot of older laptop screens, uh, there's something called an inverter that would amp the power up for yep. the uh, compact fluorescent bulbs that were behind the screen. Yeah. Or LED and IPS. Electrocute the around. shit out uh, of you. And, yeah, <laughs> it would take your laptop power and it'd amp it way up to get the fluorescence going. And, yeah, it would hurt. So I like the fact that somebody probably actually touched that on a laptop that should not have been in production to begin with. Yeah. And found out the hard way not to touch inverter. Don't touch. What mandatory sanitizing at work did to my brand new two thousand dollar laptop last winter? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. I, I have never been to a place. I have heard of places, but I've never been to places that like will take your laptop for any reason. I hear Duke University does it. I just wouldn't bring that laptop to the school, or it it would stay in a bag or something because there's no way in hell you're taking any of my personal gear. If you want to sanitize and do something particular to a computer, you will be buying that computer for me, and I will be using it and then giving it back to you because you're not touching my personal crap. If I have to, I will buy a cheap Chromebook and be like, yes, this is my laptop. Here you go. And then you can ruin that. Yeah. It's 2022 and I hate SanDisk for still using a design like this. What? Why? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a very specific that is... hatred. 
Yeah, I yeah. really hate that. This is why I like laptops nowadays that have the USB spaced out better. Mm -hmm. Because I think they realize, yeah, SanDisk is, SanDisk is not going to stop making these stupid USB drives. They're just going to keep bumping into each other. You know what? We need to space out our USB. Our and USB you don't inputs. even have to have, like, you can have big, big USB memory now that's like... Yeah. Oh, it's like the one we have on They're the back tiny. of the the drum pad over there, dude. Yeah. The little it's a little stick thing like that big. Mm -hmm. It's like it basically looks like a dongle for for a wireless mouse, and it's and it's uh, 128 gigs. Yeah. I, that's a, is it? Uh, what is it? Pony P and Y. Yeah. P and Y. P and Y. Um, the one that I have for my Wii is like that for reasons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like that big and it's just in the back of there and you never even notice it oh, and another thing too is a, a it's like a micro sd cards now they have two terabyte micro sd cards dude like little little chip chips, chips. Like that. just and, little chips and this and i actually put i didn't do a full like terabyte or like five or like a two terabyte one but i did do a 512 meg one mm -hmm. and i put it in the back of my switch oled over yeah there. i have a 400 gig in my switch and it's just does great no, and it no was problems. only like 40 some dollars yeah. i think yeah that's where i got mine at wally world and it was just under 40 it was like yeah. 37 yeah they're they're getting cheaper and cheaper yeah. and it's not even by the year it's like every three or four months yes they'll be cheaper well it, it's consumer electronics dude. consumer electronics have always been on a steady curve of like of value and it's like this oled tv that i've got right here yeah this oled tv when i got it was a pretty a good amount of money even though yeah. i got it on sale but now I can buy this same TV for basically like 75% of the price. Holy shit. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn. Damn. It's like I've, uh, I've that ship up. has sailed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I fucked up. I fucked up. At least you've got a lot of good enjoyment out of it. Oh, so. yes. This is a great TV. Yeah. I love this TV. <laughs> okay. If it's, some people get very mad over very specific things. I guess it's kind of annoying, I guess, but whatever. They it sucks. Tiny it does. That are literally the nano ones that are the size of a USB port. Exactly. Yeah. Just buy the ones you want. Sorry. Work for local high school. Oh, goody. The disk drive wasn't working. Probably been there since 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Whoever did that, okay. You you get like you get a point. You yep. get a meme point. <laughs> yes. Good job, random student from ten years ago. This this kind of stuff makes me happy. Yes, it's annoying to the IT team, including even if I worked on the IT team. Somebody played a prank and they I'd got get a laugh for like ten years. Good job. Like, well done. <laughs> you had some fun. When a teacher decides to buy and install a screen protector on their own. <laughs> I'm, I'm, they're not they're not harming the device. Ice, though. I used to have one of those tablets. I gave it to my nephew, and I had a screen protector and everything on it. Had a mm -hmm. like a bomb and ass case, and within like three months of him having it, done. Yeah, destroyed. Dead. Just, just dead. And uh has to be. Yeah. Oh. Like. I can't install those things for the life of me. I, I have to enlist the help of my wife who actually has steady hands. Right? But Nikki this, does them for me. I can I I install them pretty, pretty my well. My grandpa thought his headphone jack was a screw hole. <laughs> why, oh, why would, my God. Why, why Grandpa? The, like, why would you need to put a screw in it? Like, Grandpa! Do you think there was a screw there and it fell out and, like, the phone was going to fall apart? Oh, my God. Did this guy work on F-18s by any chance? I know that's a very obscure joke, but look at the nose of an F-18. The next time. <laughs> <laughs> Faulty SD card in a Raspberry Pi at the cinema. They're using a Raspberry. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> wow, the unbelievable. Like also, it's pretty sick though. Also, I don't know what country this is, but I know these films. That's Ready Player One, mm -hmm. and that's A Quiet Place. Mm -hmm. Like I love both of these films. And that's. <laughs> uh, this is. <laughs> yeah. As, as digital signage 
Which is a great application. Digital signage is like stupid expensive and they usually want you to pay yearly for it. And a Raspberry Pi is like oh, it's 60, 70 bucks. But yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just, just set up an IP monitor so that you know if one goes down and then you can go replace it or just turn off the screen until you get a replacement in. Yeah. Pretty easy. Anyone want to guess Agreed. what happened to the server? This is a server. Yes, really. Do not close lid. I, 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 I'm getting no hints about the server. I've used laptops as servers for years. Mostly <sighs> when I was in late college and like my first years of being out of college and had no money. So, yeah, I'm not getting any hints on what happened to the server. I'm going to go with somebody turned it into a toaster because that makes me happy. <laughs> Cat 5 cable holding up a rack. Bless you. Bless oh. you. Oh. I mean, it's strong enough. <laughs> Brother. Hey, it's not the hero they wanted. It's the one they needed. Oh. Strong stuff. That, not that I trust that much, but oh my god, what happened? How how did you not bolt this down? Oh my god, I work in infrastructure now, which is basically servers and racks and stuff, that that kind of stuff. And I used to work in networking, which was the cables itself. And oh god, every part of this hurts my soul. End user had a heater uh, next to the PC, which was randomly shutting off, and she thought she had smelled burning a couple times. It is literally screaming. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> He's <laughs> thermally shutting down, being like, please stop. <laughs> it's like looking down. It's so like the eye and the yeah. pupil and the mouth and just like, yeah. Aah! So it's like a reboot of the brave little toaster. <laughs> the sad little PC. Yeah. <laughs> And you melted this poor Lenovo uh, Think Center or whatever their desktops are called. Open up a cheap well, you melted today the face to plate find out the solar strip was just a piece of plastic. <laughs> That's not connected to anything. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Did they just put a battery in here that like had enough juice for them to just know it wasn't gonna? That's need funny. It? Someone unplugged something and now the office internet doesn't work. Yeah, you hear that sound? The sound of screaming. The sound of screaming in your dreams for weeks to come. <sighs> yeah, that's Lexi haunting you for touching something. Still though, if you work no in this area, you should. Yeah, it, I would basically put a gigantic thing of plastic wrap over top of it, and I'd have a big ass sign on, be like, "No touchy, you touchy, you die." Know where your uplink is, at least. But you also better be prepared for the network engineer to come bearing down on you full speed, possibly armed with a hammer. First day on the job, set up those four wireless speakers for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please tell me that this is a joke and not real. Oh my god. Oh. Some people be big stupid, my friend. Big, 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 big stupid. Yeah, the biggest kind of stupid. The kind of stupid that makes you wish they'd have never, ever left, like, like school, and they would have actually learned something. <laughs> what? For what? Reception? <laughs> Did he really think that was for, like, the wireless signal or something? I like how everybody else is standing around like this is a perfectly normal thing. And, uh, sorry dude, you're fired. User spilled yeah. coffee on his laptop, so he put it in the oven to try it out. No. No, he didn't. Oh. I know that laptop, too. That's an old ThinkPad. The, the red, the red nipple yeah. in the middle of the thing. You could use that to, like, direct her. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, why are people so stupid? God, it looks like chips. Like the worst <laughs> chips ever. It's a yeah. pad too! Yes! Bastard. Oh, you piece of absolute human garbage, you cooked a ThinkPad. I hope Taco Bell gets your order wrong for the next 10 years. Forever, I yeah. Yes. Somewhere to set this candle. Oh, here's a good spot. Christ, MK. Why did you... <laughs> <laughs> why, what? What is wrong with people? Why are people so stupid, dude? Why? Did you assign me this subreddit? <laughs> I know which of you assigned it to me. I'm coming for you. And I don't <laughs> to ensure maximum Ooh. keyboard stability, HP decided 57 screws was the magic number for the X360. It, it's, it's HP. Like, I'm sorry, were you expecting some sort of competence or adequacy? Dude, that's enough to give you, like, thoughts? carpal tunnel. Dude, 57 screws. And imagine if there are different lengths for the oh, screws. Oh, God. I would be, I would, I would literally march up to I would literally march up to HP's headquarters and I would use a nail gun to nail this fucker to the side of their building. Not only that, I would put rubber cement on the bottom of it and then 
Yeah. Just let it stay there. Let it stay there as a reminder of your stupidity. You of see your, this? Of your lack of freaking... See what you've done? Of lack of any kind of semblance of simplicity. Christ, what is wrong with with manufacturers like this? Are you okay? Their strong point is it's cheap. All our data center equipment started Let's firing off temperature Let's alarms. Oh no, unrelated, our cleaning staff was doing a deep cleaning of our data center after a flood. Uh, is your cleaning staff trained in data center cleaning? <sighs> Are they trying to melt the fucking... They're trying... I, I don't know. Apparently, the people who are doing the deep clean don't understand that electronics need to breathe, yeah. brother. Like, if you're going to do this, you at least need a air intake on the side of it uh, in like multiple places. Like I would have one here. I'd have one here. I'd I would just here. say, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't like, No, but do if this that. is necessary for like deep cleaning the walls... So that you know, dust doesn't get on the servers. Okay, but at least give this thing some ventilation, man. Let it breathe, brother. Or be fast as hell at your job. Yes, dude. Mean because. Oh my god. Yes, let's call Relatable. it what is essentially an oven with plastic wrap. How could it possibly go wrong? Yeah, at our at my old job, I specifically locked the cleaning staff out of the data center for other reasons, one of which was unplugging crap. If if you had a flood and you need that area deep cleaned, you get a, a trained data center cleaning crew, a specialized cleaning crew of some sort. IT manager's workstation. User one is the domain. <sighs> Password hint, the same as the login name. This domain's entire existence hangs on user one, user one. On Windows 7, do you feel secure yet? I I'm love Windows 7. Windows app. 7's a great, a, a great operating system. I wish they would just stayed with that. Bro, it works for emulation, like. Yes, it is literally nearly the perfect operating system. I would say there are a few things that need some tweaks, but thankfully the software pack updates that they released that fixed it, that made it, that made everything like perfect was great. Mm. But then they did Windows 8. And the less we talk about Windows 8, the better. Now we got Windows 10 and, well, no, we got Windows 11 now. Yeah, which is a big leap from all the predecessors. Yeah. Except 7 was the prototype. Then they went to blah, 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 blah. And then it got better with 10, I think. 10 was a step up from mm -hmm. 8, but a far cry from from seven but by the end of 10's life life mm -hmm. or you know lifeline i think it was closer to seven than than it was yeah. now we got 11 and 11 is just well i learned i watched a tutorial that helped me set up 10 to look like seven nice and that helped me a lot oh yeah i might have to try that also i haven't up upgraded anything to windows 11 yet yeah, me either. I'm I'm scared because just like, like, hey, we're trying to make this more like Mac. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> Ten was utilized for like, like portable devices, like tablets and shit like that. Yes. So I had to switch my shit back to like seven style, and there was a way you could do it. It took me like 15 minutes to do all the stuff, but after that, it was much much better. Ugh, might have to hit you up on how to do that. Yeah. Up hard disk. I've got as far as taking the drive apart. Well, you won't be extracting any data, well, will you? Nope. Uh, do I need to take the disk off the spindle or leave it on there? Also, what drive recovery hardware and software do I use? That's my next. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yes, I know my thumbprints on it, but I'll scrub them off. <laughs> At this point, there's one thing you can do. One thing and one thing only. It will guarantee you the best outcome for how far you've come. So you get your hard drive, right? You get it. You get all the pieces of it. The cover, the back plate, everything. You walk over to a trash can. You hit the, you open it up, you throw it in, and you close the trash can. That is the best possible outcome for what you have done. You have fucked your scratch disc. Fucked it. I'm talking like full fisting. You have fucked it. Congratulations. This has to be a troll post. This, this can't be. Oh my god. I hate when that thing does that. Mm. God. Yeah, there's a very every now and again when I pause it, it does that shit. 
and the head and if you open the drive that balance is upset and you probably aren't going to be getting a lot of data off the disk unless you know exactly what you're doing and can get the head to ride just right across the top of the magnetic uh, disk. Uh, place, place, you're screwed. Uh, yeah, you're screwed. Ground. You're done. This is genuinely what I thought ground meant when I was like five. <laughs> I got like an electronics workstation lab thing for my fifth or sixth birthday. Grounded. And I thought yep. it meant ground. Like there was just a tiny rock underneath the kit and that was just like ground. Nice. Was just some random dirt. User calls about disk being stuck in another computer meant it's offhand about this laptop. They had been using and charging it like this for weeks. Congratulations, your laptop oh. is a bada bada bomb. And get the hazmat suits. Toshiba, leading innovation. Directly into Grime Town. Oh. <laughs> dropped it walking to the car. It came in the day after the Super Bowl. Did did their team lose? I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. My friend kept this at his bedside table. Literally a bomb. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, literally, objectively a bomb. Oh my Say god. To Big Bertha. A 1.69 terabyte text file with over 108 billion lines. Good, good lord. A text file on, on notepad. Huh. Huh. I'm horrified. Big Bertha, go bye bye. Lord, did you dump an entire SQL database to a text file? Also, this would be completely useless because there would be no way to like easily parse it in a reasonable amount of time. No. But I like it this way. It's convenient. My tech savvy aunt. You know, she might be onto something like built in fold down kickstand from the back of the phone. You know, maybe it would make phones actually look different for once in the last like 10 years. I should tell them it's not a touch screen. No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ruin it for them. Asus. Genuinely does look like ruins of an ancient Whoa. Oh my god, it does! It does! <laughs> Whoa, dude. Dude, that board is fucked. That motherboard is like, dude, fare thee well. Send it on its way. Like, recycle that thing. Jesus. My Civilization. Old when I was little, I used to take micro machines and drive them through like computer PCBs because my dad just had computer junk in the garage. I pretend they were tiny cities, so you know what? This lines up perfectly. I fully endorse it. Damn. Hmm. Damn, dude. Fun fact the people in this video, uh, the people who sent the uh, most people in this video, should never own a PC. Period. Yeah, that was crusty, dude. There was so much. And I'm just like, Ugh. I forget every once in a while about that Xbox situation. And then when I think of it, it makes me physically ill and my skin fucking crawls. Ugh. Dude, I had that thing plugged up. I had it in my office for days. Oh, It makes you think. It makes you really think about shit. Uh. Oh yeah, by the way, how's that uh bubble back TV working? The one that we oh, got up there. Oh my god, it's amazing. Dude, I fucking love that thing. It's an HD CRT. Um and it, it's my my um like 18 to 20 inch CRT. It's a Sony Trinitron. Yeah. Um it's great, but like the screen's starting to shake. Yeah. And I even had the issue here recently where it was like when I was trying to turn it on, the tube would pop and it would start to come in and then I'd have to turn it off and turn it on again. So it's dying. Yeah. So I went to go pick up this huge 32 inch um, <laughs> Sony Trinitron Wega beast of a TV. And uh, it, it weighed like 200 pounds or something. It was crazy heavy and just way wild. And I didn't expect for it to be as bulky as it was. So it wouldn't fit in my car. And so I got about 40 minutes away from home. And Nate and I live like eight minutes away from each other. And I called him just on a prayer's hope of like, dude, I know you've got a truck. I'm screwed right now. If there's any way that you could help, like, please, Lord, I need help. And this motherfucker right here showed up, came through, hooked me up, and, um, you know, he really saved the day. In fact, I recorded a video of it. I'm going to put it out eventually of him just coming through, you know, like Gandalf at Helm's Deep, yeah. coming over the mountain. Like, yeah, it, it was... Uh, 
pretty amazing. So very thankful for that. I've been playing like PlayStation 2, Wii, GameCube, Xbox 360, PS3, all that stuff looks perfect there it on is. this damn thing. So yeah, yeah, there it is. Chad, uh, Chad actually made a post about it on his Discord. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so right here. Uh, Renegade Nate is a real homie without a single doubt. One of very few I could call at 3 p.m. on a Saturday for help with a 200-pound CRT. He helped me haul this some bitch from 45 minutes away and proceeded to help me carry it up into my apartment. Love this guy very much. A real friend. Yep. And there is our victory there pose. There we are. The that, predator pose. That's our victory pose. Like, yep. you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was trying out Banjo Kazooie on it. That photo doesn't do the picture quality justice. No, it's uh, yeah, it looks really good. Yes, from it what does. I saw of it, and yeah, you like that was the thing. That was like the final test to make yes. sure that everything was on the up and up. He brought it in there and he like turned it on with the remote and just first oh, time I fired it up, it was great. Yeah, it dude, was <clears throat> super satisfying. So anyway, yeah, so that was a. Uh, that was a lot of that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it uh, was. It was <laughs> we got we sat in a Mexican restaurant. Y'all y'all uh, indulged yourself in a bit of Mexican meat. I ate just before they hit me up, and I was just like, right. "All right, we're good. I'm I'm gonna go down there on a." I had a full belly. And we everything. had a good conversation though. Great time hanging out. Yeah, you know, it's always good to sit down and just like chill for a minute and talk. Yeah, you know? dude, absolutely. Yeah, so that was really enjoyable. And then to come home and set that thing up after all that work, I played that thing for like three hours. I tested everything on it. It was great. I finally <laughs> put some time into that uh, Incredible Hulk. Oh, what is it? The, yeah. The, the whatever ultimate destruction, destruction, ultimate destruction. Yeah, that shit was fucking way fun. Also, also, I have a master plan for uh, for my CRT, mm. and uh, I told you, I told you about it. Yes, you sent me a link to it. I did. Because uh, yours is a little bit bigger than mine. Yeah, mine's pretty chunky. Yeah, and uh, basically, who here remembers like, back in the day? When you were younger, and uh, you were in school, and let's see, all of a sudden the teacher... Yep, there it is. The, oh, the teacher rolled this some bitch in the room. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, there yep. we are. Matt, remember these? Remember these? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. This right here, it, I'm going to get my CRT up on that. I'm going to yep. get the straps for it. Make sure it's like locked down good, and then I'm gonna get uh, some of my sips, uh, some of my systems, put them underneath it, and I'm gonna roll it in here like a like we're in class or something, dude. Yeah, that'd be the shit. Yeah, it would for real. There's several projects that we have on the horizon uh, in terms of uh, other stuff, but just so that we're doing, just we're uh, keeping up doing other stuff as well. You know, we're doing, uh, we're you know, we're trying to get our retro stuff set up and all that oh and yeah it's, it it's a tar it's a trial but it's worth it oh know. hell yeah but anyway everybody that was tech support gore melted by mk if you want to see more from mk be sure to check them out on uh youtube and everything click their name in the title of the video be sure to check out this guy right here they call me hat guy his channel is right down below as well you can click his name or check it out in the description and until next time i'm nate i'm chad we'll see you later everybody Bye-bye.